that we're all a media company. If you reach even one person online, you're a media company and you need to start thinking about that. Let's see a few companies that I think are doing a great job. Chipotle, I don't, do you have Chipotle here? If not, you're really missing out on life. I'm very sorry if you don't, they're like really delicious burritos. But um, Chipotle, uh, they, I would, everyone would still eat burritos there even if they weren't thinking about social media, but Chipotle thinks of themselves as a media company. Every time you do a takeout order, they have, they've commissioned essays, original works of art on the trays, on the takeout bags, everything just designed for people to want to Instagram or post about it online and make that extra social experience. This is Red Bull. Red Bull, I think, does social media better than almost any other brand on earth. They have turned their social media presence into a live streaming action sports channel. This is on their Facebook page. They live streamed the largest free fall jump from, out, from outside the Earth's limits. Um, spoiler alert, he lands. It's okay. Um, but what I think is so interesting about this is this is a brand that traditionally would be paying for commercials on other television content. Now, all of a sudden, they're getting more views than some of the top television networks themselves on their content. So I think we're going to see a huge shift in this area. Um, of course, you don't have to broadcast a jump from space in order to be successful on social media. Sometimes it's just responding to fun, timely events in pop culture. Over uh, Thanksgiving, we always do uh, in the States, they broadcast a musical on TV. They did The Sound of Music. And so DiGiorno Pizza decided they were going to get in on the Sound of Music action and tweet, you know, dough, a crust, an unbaked crust, Ray, a guy that likes pizza. Like, so simple and funny. Probably one of those social media managers I was talking about. This got millions of retweets. And uh, during our big music awards show, the Grammys, this was a, a sandwich shop called Arby's that tweeted, hey, Pharrell, can we have our hat back? <laughs> so again, just seeing what's going on in pop culture, it doesn't require massive video, massive expenditures. But think about the kind of things that you could do to engage more. Could you become more of an expert blogging, posting content about your business online? Instead of doing a press release to announce new news, could you take an executive from your company and do a live video Q&A on social media? I think there are a lot of things, low-hanging fruit, that all of us could do in our businesses to be more like a media company. Of course, then, there's always being kind of the first mover with a new technology. This is the Diane von Furstenberg runway show at New York Fashion Week. She had all of her models put on a pair of Google Glass, and walk the runway. Through that, you could actually log on from anywhere in the world and see her runway show from the perspective of one of her models. They had two million people tune in to watch the show from 100 different countries. Now, a bit of an interesting thing about that, she got a lot of press, which was great, uh, and then Google discontinued Google Glass. So her staff had spent a lot of time working on Google Glass during this integration. So it's always a risk to try new technologies to adopt that. On one hand, you have the benefit of being a first mover, the marketing, the press that goes with it. On the other hand, we're all resource strapped in our businesses. What happens if you go into a new technology and then all of a sudden, poof, it's gone, which is definitely a big risk. I mentioned to you that my dream was to be a singer. So um, about a year ago, I was sitting at home, and I got a call from the producers of Rock of Ages on Broadway. They said, we've noticed you have a lot of followers on social media. You talk about Broadway a lot. You love singing. Do you want to come be in our musical? And I thought I was getting punked. I thought, I was like, that is so mean to call up someone and prey on their dreams, like, bye. <laughs> and apparently they were serious. So I went to New York City and I joined the cast of a Broadway musical for a month. It was an amazing experience. 
I actually wore a pair of Google Glass on stage one night. So during our big finale of Journeys, Don't Stop Believing, I wore the Google Glass, and anyone from around the world could see what it was like to perform on Broadway for the evening. Again, the geek in me thought this was so cool, so exciting that I could put on these glasses and all I had to do was wink and I could be filming all of you and so cool. But then I was like, wait, do we actually want to live in a world where anyone can blink their eye and be filming all of us? Again, technology, it's always, always two sides of every, everything. Most of the people we know online will not think of themselves as a media company. Instead, they will obsessively post photos of their lunch, or they will mommy overshare about their children, which I, I've been there, I've done that. Or my favorite, the vague booker. This is the person who says, worst day ever, dot, 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 dot. And you're just, it's like a train wreck, you don't want to give in to it, like you know they're begging for attention. And finally, 40 people comment, you know, what's wrong? I don't want to talk about it, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> It's like you just posted that to 400 people on Facebook. You obviously want to talk about it. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time on those people, but the smart few percent of us that think of themselves as a media company that really think about social media to get to become an expert in your field, to reach out to new clients. If it wasn't, I would never have wound up on Broadway in my life, my dream, if I hadn't taken a media company approach to thinking about, okay, I work in tech, but I'm still, I'm gonna post my thoughts on how technology can help the theater on how technology can bring more ticket holders into seats. Those were always things I blogged about and posted about and had ideas about. And all of a sudden, that who knew that that would be my entree into Broadway? So really encourage all of you to think in that way, like a media company.